Hello. This is going to be a different kind of video because I've always loved this game. As you can see, I have 500 hours of this in my game record. And you might be thinking, well, hey, why do you have that much gameplay? Well, I'm going to tell you in this video in one piece. So keep up. It's going to be a long story. <laughs> There's no doubt that Team Fortress 2 has the best animated shorts in all of history. Well, video game history, to be a matter of fact. Um, basically, they let their creati creativity run wild and decide to make a bunch of these amazing videos called Meet the Team, where you get to meet all the characters, um, the entire team, like it says in the entire freaking name. So, first, we start off with this guy named Heavy. You might know him from his famous saying... Put this uh, and his famous chicken keep hat. Uh, all these are really famous, and this is how Heavy is known. So I'll play a little short clip from the Meet the Heavy. I am Heavy Weapons Guy. And this is my weapon. She weighs 150 kilograms and fires $200 custom tool cartridges at 10,000 rounds per minute. Now, if you couldn't already tell, that was heavy. Um, that's how he acts, that's how he is. He is a Russian dude who loves firing his minigun. As you heard from the video, it costs $400,000 to fire that weapon for 14 to 10, 10 to 14 seconds. It holds 200 ammo, and it deals 14 damage from far away, but it does so much damage from close. It doesn't do 14 damage from far away, it, do, it you know, decreases from far away, like a regular minigun does. Don't ask me how I know what a minigun does. Also, there are so many Meet the Team videos, and they're all, I'm not gonna suggest them all in order, I'm not gonna put them all in order, but they are dedicated to all of the mercenaries in Team Fortress 2. There's Scout, Soldier, Pyro, Demo Man, Heavy, and Engineer, and lastly, Medic, Sniper, and Spy. All those are going to be listed in the, you know, date that came out in the Velvin team. Or the Vel Velvin Team Fortress 2 channel. Um, so, I don't know which one is next because I don't know. But, I guess you're going to have to find out. Boom. Hitshot. Sniping's a good job, mate. It's challenging work, out of doors. I guarantee you'll not go hungry, because at the end of the day, long as there's two people left on the planet, someone is going to want someone dead. Ah, uh, Sniper. Originally born in New Zealand and then shipped to Australia, giving him his Australian accent and raised in a barn. <laughs> um, in case you haven't known that, it is proven true by, um, in the comics... Uh, but, um, that's not the point now. We're learning about Sniper. He has, he's able to fire five bullets, um, not all at once, but, you know. Uh, he holds 16 ammo for a sniper rifle. It does 150 for a non-charged headshot, um, or at least a bar headshot. Um, and then, if it's fully charged, it can do over 450, I believe. A body shot does 50 damage for non-charged, um, and it keeps on going up by five, or times by two for so 50 for um none for like three it takes like a hundred i guess um it's kind of hard to tell how much the damage multiplier is on the body shot but the important thing for sniper is his snipers you have the starting off with the hitman's hit maker then the default sniper rifle then the bizarre bargain which is you know pretty good the classic the sydney sleeper the machina and last but not least, the fortified compound. Now, if you really wanted to, you, you can literally change Sniper if you just change one singular weapon, which is the fortified compound. The fortified compound is not a hit scan, but is a timed shot. You have to time the shot perfectly to deal a headshot or a random crit, which absolutely sucks, or a, you know, body shot, which deals 120 for a fully charged, a 350 for a fully charged. Now, I recommend doing the fortified compound because it's a really fast 
full charge for a headshot, which can deal 350 damage for a headshot. Now, it's really good for up close. But if you really wanted to deal critical headshots or just a headshot really fast, I then recommend using the default sniper rifle because it's really easy and everything. Now, what's up after sniper, you say? Well, this is who. Hey, look, buddy. I'm an engineer. That means I solve problems. Not problems like what is beauty. Because that would fall within the purview of your conundrums of philosophy. I solve practical problems. For instance, how am I gonna stop some big mean Mother Hubbard from tearing me a structurally superfluous new beehive? The answer? more gun. Ah, uh, Engineer, the best class to play for defense. You know, you might be wondering, well, how do you play Engineer? Well, just build a sentry gun and a dispenser and a teleporter and BOOM! There you have it. Boom. You're the best class in the game. <laughs> um, now... You might be wondering, who is the best at playing Engineer? Well, I have the answer right here. It's this guy. It's this guy. 100%. He has 6,566 hours as Engineer. Or at least something close to that. Or something like that. But this guy right here, Uncle Dane, he's been playing Engineer since 2013. So if you see him in a game, you bet. Wrong. Now, I see you wondering, well, how come he's the best Engineer player? Well, I want you to experience the best way you can with good editing, good music, and, you know, good gameplay. So, yeah, I recommend going to his channel and watching a couple of his videos. The Man vs. Machine um, series is my favorite, and I think you would enjoy it too. Now, who is our next class? I keep saying this, but it's probably gonna be your favorite character and my favorite character. I act like him a lot. I don't act like him a lot, you know, like, I act like him. Um, but, like, I do kind of feel like he's me. <laughs> so, yeah. That's the character coming up next on Nickelodeon. Ah, uh, Scout, the fastest Boston basher ever to exist. So, I actually have some information about this guy. First, we are going to talk about the story of Scout. So, um, like I said in the beginning, there are spoilers. So if you don't want the spoiler, you can skip to the time lapse on the screen where there are no spoilers. So, basically, Spy uh, married Scout's mom and had Scout. Um, and when that happened, Scout, as a baby, wanted to join the Boston Basher Mafia. <laughs> or gang, I mean, not Mafia, gang. Um, as a literal baby. So, basically, um, obviously he didn't, but now he has a weapon called the Boston Basher. Um, you know, named after his favorite gang, for his favorite bat. Um, <clears throat> but basically, there's... This isn't really as much backstory, but basically... He also had batteries. He also ate batteries as a kid from this famous, uh, and we also know it's true because from this famous quote from Gabe Newell, uh, Scout ate batteries, lol. <laughs> um, look, I like it, Gabe Newell, but please update your game. It has, it's been like 10 years since your latest game. Wait, 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 wait. Do you hear that? <gasps> the alarm's going off. That must mean that there's a. Spy is in the base. Gentlemen. Ah, 
uh, spy always wearing a mask that way you can never tell where he is or who he is so basically spy is gabe neal's favorite character which makes it really bad because he buffs his favorite characters so he spy has the ambassador which can deal um headshots yes you heard me right a class that's not a sniper can do headshots not a random crit a headshot yeah you can tell that it's kind of scary if you think about it but there's also another thing you should be worried about called the diamond back every backstab or engineer building you sap will give you a critical hit a guaranteed critical hit and it's really sad no matter where you are it's always gonna deal 120 damage i always use this on my friend just to make him um mad at me and it's freaking hilarious i wish i can get a clip but i can't because i don't have a clip <laughs> And I'm trying to rush this video as fast as possible. Not rush it and everything, but I'm just trying to make it fast. That way you guys can get something good before spring break. But spring break already happened. Hopefully you guys get this on Sunday. So, yeah. <laughs> but, yes. Bye. On to the thing. He can do a critical backstab. A critical backstab is going behind someone. Um, disguise that way. Oh, yeah. By the way, Spy can disguise as the enemy team to make you think that he is on your team basically a literal spy i mean that's his name right a spy so he has his disguise kit um <coughs> he's a smoker um he loves his knife and gun he has a stock revolver and a stock knife or a butterfly knife the butterfly knife you just go behind someone backstab their back and boom they're dead just a literal insta kill with the revolver it just does damage and you can see the enemy's health yeah, as you can see, Spy is really freaking powerful. He also has a bunch of funny hats. Now, it's not just funny hats that Spy has. As you can see of what um I'm using, I'm using the Dead Ringer, which can fake your death. So see the sniper right here? If he does end up like shooting me, never mind, I killed him. But if anyone does end up shooting me like that, see, I fake my death. And when I fake my death, I get a speed boost and I have a time for invisibility. And it leaves a fake corpse thinking that making the enemy think that you are dead making you be able to you know go and pull a trick stab <laughs> which is really awesome the dead ringer is my favorite in viz watch so i recommend using it <clears throat> wait what was that oh someone with explosives who could that possibly be oh and he likes alcohol okay now i know who it is what makes me a good demo man if I were a bad demo man, I wouldn't be sitting here discussing it with you now, would I? Let's do it! Ah, uh, demo man, the most hardest player to go against because if you get direct hit like a soldier, who we're going to cover, you know, soon, um... You're going to die because it does 100 damage for a direct hit with a pipe grenade, which is a um, stock grenade launcher or a regular bomb or something like that. Um, but then you die, and it does 85 damage for splash damage if you're up close to it. Um, he also has these sticky bombs, which are so annoying on a scale of 1 to 10. It would be a 1,000. He also has his melee weapons where he can be demo knight. He also has this charge feature with like steering wheels and stuff like that. <clears throat> you can basically become a freaking ship with a sword with a bootlegger, which makes you turn fast and walk faster and swing faster, I think. It is crazy. You can be a new class called Demo Man. I want to show something from Solar Light, but again, like Uncle Dane, I want you to see it in action. So if you haven't already, subscribe to Uncle Dane and subscribe to Solar Light because they are freaking crazy with the classes they play as. I'm not kidding. Solar Light is like the best demo knight I have ever seen. So yeah, that's Demo Man. He also loves alcohol if you couldn't tell. Yada yada, all that stuff. You have to make decisions about Demo Man though. And sometimes when you play video games, you want to turn your brain off. So what class do you do to do that? Well, this guy, this class right here. Roll the clip. If fighting is sure to result in victory, then you must fight. Sun Tzu said that, and I'd say he knows a little more about fighting than you do, pal, because he invented it, and then he perfected it so that no living man could best him in the Ring of Honor. Ah! 
Now, before I get into the really fun stuff about Soldier, something really bad happened in April. Um, Rick May, the voice actor of Soldier, died from COVID, um, randomly. Um, he was battling it, and he just randomly died. It was a really shocking death to everyone, and it felt like a fever dream, and I felt really bad, and I just played the game even more. So, the game, it, it, the death was really sad, I'm gonna be honest with you. The, he was an acting teacher, and I am really sad that I won't get, be able to get acting <laughs> lessons from him, but I bet he was a good voice actor. And now that I got all the important stuff out of the way, let's talk about the fun of Soldier now. Let's get all that depressing stuff away, and let's talk about the fun that Rick May was able to put into this character. Now, if you are not aware, Soldier is the second class you are able to play as. Soldier is just freaking awesome <laughs> he has a rocket launcher you're able to explode enemies with a direct hit does at least 100 damage if you're kind of close um a direct hit which is a um weapon can do uh 150 damage for a direct hit but negative 85 percent splash radius so if you like splash dam splash damage then it the weapon is not for you but soldier the most important thing that i forgot to say about demo man uh you can rocket jump gun boats where you're able to basically like surf off your rocket not surf but like it's kind of close to that you deal less damage so like um a, a direct rocket like under your feet with your rocket um it doesn't work with anyone else's rocket but with your rocket um you take just 20 damage i believe which is awesome so yeah soldier is probably he's my second favorite class <laughs> demo man is my first favorite because of the explosive fun you can have and make everyone rage quit the game and since i'm talking about this i will share an image that i did create for this video and for steam and for rick may obviously <gasps> Wings! Oh my god! That must mean that Medic is here! When the patient woke up, his skeleton was missing, <laughs> and the doctor was never heard from again! <laughs> but those shouldn't really be angels, should it? Now, if you look at the past of Medic, you can see that it's kind of kind of scary if you think about it. Medic is, um, kind of crazy. Medic is a German. Uh, he is from... Germany, obviously, and we don't know if he was in World War II. If if so, yeah, medic um is a crazed German um quote unquote scientist medic who runs experiments on his friends um and is just kind of a crazy lunatic. He loves killing and violence. He is an absolute psychopath, and you can see and hear this from his voice lines. He is always wanting to kill. It's really scary. Eventually, also, when you get that one thing where it's like a really crazy medic and a regular medic, or the um the zombie Artemides, Archimedes. So, yeah, if you didn't know already, medic is probably the most craziest person you will ever see in your entire life. <laughs> Sorry, I just really wanted to try that. All right. He's not here, is he? How do we get this thing off? Oh. One shudders to imagine what inhuman thoughts lie behind that mask. What dreams of chronic can sustain cruelty. 
Ah, uh, Pyro, the most insane class you'll ever see. You know, I've always liked this because it's just so freaking hilarious. Also because there's a strange detail that I'll show you later on. And also because of how they make absolutely something hilarious, an actual thing that people are trying to solve. Is Pyro a boy or a girl? Because if you walk into the game and you see their locker and everything, you see a um, purse with flowers on it. So I'm wondering, is Pyro a boy or a girl? Um, probably, my guess is a boy. I actually have no idea. It's probably no one. It's actually just probably a, ga a floating gas mask. And it's just trying to fit in with everyone. That's my guess. But yeah, but basically Pyro lives in his fantasy world with candy and freaking babies and baby unicorns with a flamethrower that shoots bubbles and sings music and another thing that I was going to show you it sings um magic in a young girl's heart with a and a um female sign uh there it is boom right there circled um through I'm not clicked by um but yeah basically pyro thinks he's um not in his own fantasy land and he's actually giving people candy but in reality it's an axe and um he thinks he's blowing bubbles at everyone you know like hey <laughs> super super fun but no it turns out he's actually blowing people the freak up and just absolutely setting them on fire this is why spies hate them because once you turn invisible or do the freaking uh dead ringer they can just automatically kill you super fast it's so annoying. Bell, can you actually please remove Pyro from the game, please?